Hello and uh, welcome to this video on changing the subject of the formula. And this is something quite a lot of people find difficult and it's in both the National 5 and the GCSE curriculum. And what I'm going to really do is put it into the context of real life with a pretty realistic example and a kind of unique way of thinking about it. So what we want to do is we want to imagine that when we're in this context we've got a friend who's somehow maybe got into the wrong crowd, they're having a bit of a difficult time in life, but you want to be able to get through to them and communicate with them. But the only way you can do that is if you get them on their own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer you on to this here. And the idea is that the right side of the equation, so this is our equation here, the right side is made up of what we call the entire audience. Now, what that means in that context is that would be your friend, but that would be everyone else who's influencing them negatively towards the kind of behaviours that they're partaking in. So these people would be like other audience members, these would be other closer friends. But your ultimate goal, in order to get through to your friend to help them, is to separate from them from the rest of the audience. So, as we say here, the right side is made up of your entire audience including your target audience, which is your friend. Your ultimate goal is to separate your target audience, your friend, in order to be able to communicate to them, to get through to them. And the entire audience is composed of what we call other audience members, i.e. their close friends in those circles and or other people who are influencing them in that circle. And what we can also think about is powers this is also the target audience's fears or reservations so your friend that you're trying to get through might still have their own thoughts going on that are influencing them continuing in this sort of bad behavior so with this in mind i'm now going to take this on to some examples to show you how we can actually apply this in changing the subject of the formula okay so we're still thinking about this friend that you're trying to positively influence and now what we're going to look at is the actual strategies that you're going to use when you're trying to influence them. So sometimes when we get perhaps negativity from one person, if we're also negative, we don't really help the situation. Likewise, if, if someone's quite angry, if we're also angry, that doesn't really help the situation. So what we have to do on our side is the opposite. So to get rid of something from one side, so this is this side here, we do the opposite on the other side. So there's my target audience here. So to get rid of this plus three on one side, I need to take it away on my side. So I would go B minus three equals two, and then we've got the A, because this is the target audience. And then what we've got again on this side, it's like a times two, because it's two times A. So to get rid of that times on one side, we do the opposite on this side, we divide. So it's b minus 3 divided by 2 gives me a. So really what we can do is we can just take that over to that side. So a equals b minus 3 over 2. And that's that one finished. So that's quite an easy example. That's using the first strategy. We're going to work through some other examples. So this example is quite similar to the first one, just to re-emphasise the point. So again, what we said, if you're trying to get rid of something from one side, so some sort of maybe negativity on one side, the best way to do that is be a bit different on your side, do the opposite. So because we've got negative one on this side, I'm going to bring that over to this side. So it's going to be C plus one equals four, and it's A squared. And what we mentioned previously was that the powers were like the thoughts or fears that the person that you had to, you were trying to get through to had. Um, now we've got times four on this side, so to get rid of that on one side, we do the opposite on this side. So we divide it by four, and we get B squared. Finally, we've got the squared on this side, so what we do is we get the square root on this side. And 
All I'll do is I'll just write it out to the right of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on to another couple of examples which use these other rules a bit more. This example, we're going to be thinking a bit more about this rule here. If your entire audience is affected by something, you need to eliminate that. So what that really means is, if the whole group, not just the target audience, but the whole group are being affected by something, we need to get rid of that before we can really start communicating effectively with the individual that we're trying to address. So what we've got on this side is we've got a square root, which is basically encompassing the whole audience there. So I need to get rid of that before I can get really into this. So to get rid of something on one side, so to get rid of that thing that's hampering us on one side, we have to do the opposite on the other side. So what we do is, it's a square root, so the opposite of a square root is squaring, so what will happen on this side is it will become d squared equals 9, then we'll have v squared plus 7. And now what we do is we just carry on with the first rule. So it says to get rid of something on one side, we do the opposite again. So what we've got here is we've got the positive 7, so we take it away. So it's d squared take away 7 equals 9 v squared. Then we divide by 9. v squared and then to get v on its own so to get rid of the sort of fears of reservations we do the opposite on the other side we get the square root so v is going to be equal to the square root of d squared take away 7 all over 9. Okay I'm going to get another example for you Okay, so this time what we've got is we've got some we've got um an example where number three is what really is going to affect it. And if your target audience appears under a division sign or after a minus sign, so this is your target audience and they're after the minus sign. So what we have to think about here is you're trying to communicate with somebody, but they're not in a very good place. They're not feeling very good. So sometimes the best way to do that is to empathize. Put yourself in their shoes. So in order to positively influence them you must emphasize and actually swap places. So if we're over here we're just going to swap places with them. So we're going to bring this over here and then swap that to here. So it's going to become 7m equals 6j squared take away e. And then in order to get m on its own, to make this the subject of the formula, all we really need to do is get rid of the 7, it's a times 7, so we do the opposite on the other side and we divide. So we have m equals 6j squared minus e over so when something's at the end, when it's at the end of a negative like that, so when it's in the taken away position, assume that it's not in a good place, it's not feeling very good, you've got to empathise. So to empathise, you swap places. So we swap this and this around. And then we've got M here and we can just take the 7 underneath. I'm going to use another example like that. Okay, so this example... It's not, the take, it's not subtraction, but it's division. But we've got to think about it in the same way. Because this is the part that we want to be our target audience, is the R that we're trying to make the subject of the formula. So if your target audience appears under a division sign, what we've got to think is they're not in a very good place, they're not feeling great, and in order to help them, we've got to empathise, we've got to put ourselves in their shoes, and we've got to swap places. So what we do is we bring the 7R up here, and we bring the M underneath. So it's 7, and then I'll just put the R. So 7R equals 8A 
over m. So 7r is equal to 8a over m, and in order to make the r, the subject of the formula, we just divide this side by 7, and the best way to do that is just to put the 7 underneath on the bottom part, because that will just divide it through. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Please like, please subscribe. Please tell me if there's any examples you find that don't really work with this criteria. I'll be happy to do another video. See you soon. Bye.